how's it going guys um well i'm gonna show you some packs that i open after i do this but first we're gonna be ranking the opal rewards like i talked about last video and then i'm gonna show you some flashbacks i open and what i pulled out of those haven't opened any buzzer beater packs yet but um yeah anyway here we go so coming in at number eight for the opal rewards is grant hill i just feel like He's just a super mediocre card, and there's and the fact that he can only play small forward, there's just that's probably the most stacked position in the game. And obviously, all these cards are great. I mean, they're all opals. They're all really, really hard to get. But I just think that Grant Hill is the worst out of them, to be honest, because there's so many other small forwards, and his release is kind of weird. Like I've only played against him a few times. Obviously, the only opal reward that I have is Penny. But I've watched gameplay on a lot of them, and I've used some other ones. And, you know, obviously I've played against some of them, so I'm just judging it by that. But as far as that goes, I think Grant Hill is probably the worst. And then in at number seven, we have this card right here, David Robinson. So first of all, I'd like to say, you know, he's a, he's a pretty solid center, man. Like one of the better ones in the game. But he did come out at the beginning of the game. Penny did too, but... Obviously, I really do like using Penny. But oh, another issue that he has is he has Steady Shooter, which isn't a badge that I hate as much as a lot of people do. But with a card like this, it can become an issue. So, yeah, let's look at these other badges here. 20 Hall of Fames. That's not very many for an Opal in this day and age. But anyway, yeah, he's got Steady Shooter. So that's, yeah, that's really just not a good badge to have at all. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the reason why he's in a number seven and then coming in at number six, we have Tony Parker. So pretty much the only reason that he's at number six in this list is because of his height. If he was taller, he could easily be number one, like no question about it. In my mind, he could easily be number one if he was a taller point guard, but he's just not, he's too short. And that's why, I mean, yeah, six foot two. That's not tall enough for a point guard. But yeah, obviously he's got elite stats. He's got an elite release. But yeah, nope. And then coming in at number five is Tim Duncan, and this is a card that gets a lot of hate, like a lot, a lot of hate. I'm t I'm telling you, man. But I don't really understand why. I mean, I understand that his release is kind of weird. But I feel like that doesn't really make or break a big man in this game. It makes or breaks a guard or maybe even a forward, but not a big man. If he's got a, even if he's got kind of a weird release, if he can still shoot from the corner, which he can, he's wet from the corner, then I don't really think it's that big of a deal. And he's good. He's just a demon at everything else. Obviously, 39 Hall of Fame badges. He'll grab rebounds from everywhere, dude. And he's like a very good defender as well. So, yeah, that's why he's coming in at number five. And I have him ranked higher than David Robinson because I just simply think he's a better card. Not even just because he's newer, but just because he just is a better card overall. And then coming in at number four, we have Bradley Beal. So I would have ranked Bradley Beal higher than Penny. But the reason that I didn't is because he's not a shooting guard slash point guard. If he was a shooting guard slash point guard instead of slash small forward, he would be one of the best cards in the game like he would be very well much talked about and but he's six for five and he can't play point he can only play him at the two obviously he does have one of the best releases in the game which is something that a lot of people talk about but he's the most least redeemed one i've only played against him like once but i have used the pink diamond and i have used the diamond and i've heard that they're not that much different i mean obviously the opal's better but yeah, I mean, he's got 36 Hall of Fames. A, just a really, really good card, to be honest with you, man. And um, coming in at number three is the only card out of these that I have, and that is going to be Opal Penny Hardaway. So Opal Penny Hardaway, you know, I'm just a huge fan of this card, and I have been ever since I got him. He's been my starting point card for God knows how long now because I just haven't been tempted to grind for another one of these cards. But, um yeah, I mean, he's six foot seven. He's a point guard. I mean, obviously, 93 defense, that doesn't matter. He still plays good defense. The stats kind of lie a little bit there. And then, obviously, 99 offense. He's got a pretty good release. The only thing is it could be a little bit faster. Sometimes people can get out and contest shots that I feel like shouldn't be contested. 
and 17 Hall of Fames, that's not great either. But, I mean, he just plays really, really well, and I love using him. So that's why he's at number three for me on my on this list, which is also a personal opinion. I mean, some of you guys obviously think that Penny's probably maybe even six or seven on this list, but I think he's three, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, I understand that some people might think some of these cards are better, but I'm just a huge fan of Penny, and I have been ever since I got him. So anyway, coming in at number two, we have Zach Levine. So the story with this card is he would be a top three card in the game and top one on this list if he had one badge, and that is unpluckable. And he is the only card on this list, besides Duncan and Robinson, one of those two might not have it, but other than that, he's the only card on this list without unpluckable. And that is just very, very rough for a shooting guard slash point guard. I mean, you really need that badge if you're going to be an elite guard. I'm not saying he's not, because obviously I put him at number two, and he is an elite guard. Like, he, he honestly plays like Opal T Mac. But just the fact that he does not have Hall of Fame unpluckable or even gold or silver unpluckable it doesn't matter what color badge it is he just needs unpluckable and he doesn't have it so that's why he's at number two but not number one and coming in at number one on the list is josh smith so josh smith i haven't even used this card but i've come up against it a lot i've watched a lot of gameplay and i think that he is the best open reward given that he's six foot nine i mean you'd probably want to run him at the three but that doesn't really matter. I mean, he's probably lethal at either position. And obviously, 99 offense, 99 defense, 35 Hall of Fames. He's got a lot of Hall of Fame shooting badges. Hall of Fame green machine. That's one of my favorite badges in the game. Um, let's see what else he has. Hall of Fame clamps. That's obviously huge, especially for a player like him. Um, Hall of Fame heart crusher. That's another badge that no one really ever talks about, but it kind of comes in useful. I remember I used to use... Pink Diamond Serge Ibaka at the beginning of the year, and he had Gold Heart Crusher, and I remember that was that was just huge for me. Obviously, I know that card's not good, and it's super outdated. I I don't like using it at all anymore, but that badge was nice to have. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then Hall of Fame Intimidator could be the best defensive badge in the game. Obviously, I play with Pink Diamond Moses Malone. He has that, and it's just it makes your whole team just so much better on defense, and it's something that you definitely notice for sure. And then look at, yeah, he's got just a ton of badges, man. Just a lethal, lethal card. And I think if I were to save up, he would definitely be the one that I would buy next. So anyway, yeah, that's the list. And then I'm going to show you some packs that I opened up here and if I had any luck. So hope you guys enjoyed that list. I'll probably be doing the pink diamonds here soon. So yeah, anyway, thanks for tuning in again. Um, spread the word about the channel and I'll keep putting out the content. And I hope you guys are enjoying, and peace out, and have a good night. And here is the packs that I opened. Um, This was a couple days ago, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I got, obviously. And I, I opened up 10 flash packs. Um, I didn't open up any league packs at all, just 10 flash packs, and here we go. In the first pack, we got an Emerald Will Barton. It's obviously not a desirable pull. I mean, anything besides the flash card is not a desirable pull. And then an Emerald Danilo Gallinari. Um, on the third pack, we got the bronze Michael Fraser. Fourth pack, we got... Two double sapphire. I don't remember that. Um, Demar Derozan. I didn't even see. Oh, Jason Tatum. Demar Derozan and Jason Tatum. Um. And then out of the next pack, this one looks like it's lagging a little bit. Maybe it'd be a good pull. Nope, nothing. Let's see this next one. A Sapphire, Jamal Murray. <laughs> and then out of the next one, we ended up pulling an Emerald, Miles Turner. And 
And then on the seventh pack, or maybe, the, no, this is the eighth pack, I think, isn't it? Yeah, this would be the eighth pack. Emerald in this canner. Ninth pack. We have got another lagging pack. And whenever the packs lag, it seems like I always get something good. Like, I don't know why that is at all. I don't know if anyone else experiences that. But, yeah, that just seems to happen to me. And then this one lagged a little bit. And then we pulled a pink diamond. Let's see who it is. Green. Milwaukee. Shooting guard. Michael Red, boys. I, you know, I was kind of thrilled with that pull at first, but I used him. And he's really, really good. I'm not going to lie to you. He's really, really good. But I feel like I just had better options on my team. So yesterday I ended up selling him and opening some more packs, but didn't get anything. But yeah, I'd, I mean, that was a pretty good pull. I'll take that. I'm planning on opening some buzzer beater packs as well pretty soon. So, I mean, if I do that, obviously I'll upload it. And then tomorrow I plan on doing probably pink diamond rewards or something. So, yeah, thanks for watching the the rating of the opals and this little small pack opening. There will be more content coming your way soon. So, uh, yeah, have a good night.